If you have just come on live, welcome to JP's On Demand Virtual Workouts. Tonight's workout is the Super 7, which is a bodyweight only workout, no equipment required. Seven exercises, seven rounds, 30 seconds on each exercise, and you've just got 10 seconds to get to the next exercise. So we're just going to wait a little minute for some more people to come on. And then we're going to start with a dynamic warm-up. Okay, let's get started. Now, let's have your toes pointing forward. Three points of contact, so the ball of your foot just below this bone here called your metatarsal, it's your fifth metatarsal in here. Imagine your pinky and your heel. Now you want to wait through the middle of that position, okay? Now you want to root your feet in, soften your knees, squeeze the tops of your thighs, your glutes, and then create some tension around your abdominals. Take deep breath in, rotate the arms in, reach up to the roof, and then turn your palms. We're going to do this for 15 repetitions. Make sure you keep your feet rooted, thighs, glutes, and abdominals engaged. Reach up as far as you can without losing that tension, and then come down to the bottom. Okay, so we'll do a hip warm up now. Still maintain your three points of contact. Soften the knees so the shins nice and straight, vertical, thigh, glute tight again, create some tension, and then I want you to step forward and back. Now this leg stays nice and stationary, nice and fixed. Once you've mastered that, start to integrate the arms with your legs. If that is too challenging, try slowing it down or take out the arms. Change legs, we're doing 20 each side. So this workout can be done if you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced, and I will show you both regressions if required and progressions ways to make each exercise a little bit tougher okay next one feet just outside the hips thighs bum tight again create tension arms up rotate from the hips let the feet and let the arms follow so we're going to do 50 reps on this one and then we are good to go Notice I'm moving from the hips and the feet are following. Twenty more reps to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get the timer started. We are good to go. Okay, so the first exercise, once the bell goes, is a star jump. I'm going to give you two options. So, regular star jump. Legs apart, reach the arms up. Option one, if that is too challenging or too high impact, you can also step side to side, or you can make it a little bit more fruity as well. You can get nice and low, so I'll show you quarter squat position, and then. Well, 
whatever one's most comfortable, most effective, and most importantly, it's the most safest. Okay, next exercise, we are going to do a renegade row. Two options. So, hardest option, you're going to enter your plank position, feet hip width apart, thighs so it's core engaged, and then drive your elbow back and bring the arms close to the body as you can. Option one, too challenging, drop to the knees, or you can elevate your hands. Now, when one hand comes off, I'm really resisting against rotating left to right. Very good. Next exercise. My apologies, jackknife crossover. Okay, line your back. Feet outside the hips, arms outside the shoulders. Lift the leg up to 90 degrees at the hip. Reach to the toe. So this one today, I just want the shoulder blades to come off and let the head follow. If you can't reach the toe, don't worry. Aim for the side of the knee. Very good, very good. Next exercise, body weight rotational chop. So, feet just outside the hips, arms out in front, create some tension, and then we're gonna go left to right. So, lock this in, brace your abs, like you're about to take a punch. Keep the glutes tight, keep the thighs tight. So I don't wanna see this, unless you want to dance. So learn to create your own tension with your body. Very good, okay. Next, press the lunge, I'm gonna give you two options. So, have the hands to the side of the head. Draw the elbows back. Squeeze the back of your shoulders and upper back. Lunge forward. Option one, if that is too easy, split lunge. Now when I'm landing, I'm rooting my front foot, rolling it ball to back. Very, very good. Next one's going to be a coordination killer, alternating single leg bridge. So, what we're going to do, lie back, chin tucked, abs tight, leg out, bridge up, foot down, go down again. Bridge, foot down, other leg in front, let the hips drop, extend the hips up. Still focus, I know we're doing a, an interval workout, still focus on the quality of your movement. Let me finish that. Next exercise, plank up. So, Hand shoulder with the bat again. The same options as Renegade Row. So down into that half plank, and then your full plank. Change your arms, back up. You can drop to the knees or elevate your hands. Now when I'm in this position, the hands, elbows and shoulders are stacked. My shoulders are protracted and packed in my armpits. Very good. Round one. Star jumps next. Oh, this is going to be fruity tonight. Oh, extra, extra crispy. So we know. Right, let's go. Option one, to eat hard. Option two, option three. Now, if you're doing this one, knees, toes pointing forward, knees striking over the middle toe. I would definitely recommend a, a little bit of a hinge here as well at the hips. Then, jump up. Okay, next one. Renegade roll.
They're not watching a roll. This arm, I'm pushing this arm into the floor. Right in my hand. Very good. Flip round. Jackknife crossover. Hands outside the, sh the hands outside the shoulders. Feet outside the hips. Tension. Sorry. Chin tucked. Rib cage down. Reach the foot. Again, I only want your shoulder blades leaving the floor. I mean, I don't want to see you propel yourself up. This one, when the legs are coming right up, personally I feel we're challenging the hip flexors more. Okay, what do we eat? 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Okay, thighs, glutes, abdominals braced. So it only goes far left to right. You can maintain this for. Okay, prisoner, lunge or split jump. Right, let's go. Option one. Option two. Notice I'm not pulling on the head. If you've got great range of motion or very long arms, yeah, go here. But if you feel you're pulling your head forward doing that, just have your hands to the sides. Notice my foot position. My knee should be tracking over that middle toe. So I'm not way out here, I'm not way in here. Okay? Alternating bridge. Chin tucked, rib cage down, tension, leg out in front, extend the hips, drop one leg, reach out, and back up, leg out. Keep going, keep going. If you can't feel your glutes at the top, consider scooping the hips under. And only go as fast as you can control this exercise for. I appreciate that it's quite a coordination killer. Plank up next. Now notice my shoulders here. Don't let them don't let your shoulders retract basically. Protract. Push yourself away from the floor. Much stronger stable position. You want to keep all the muscles around the rib cage nice and tight. Keep your abdominals braced. You don't want that back to dip. Okay. Round number three, ladies and gents. Star jumps. Here we go. Option one, remember. Option two. Option three. Come on, keep going. Woo! Finishing the week strong. Very good. Come on, Renegade Rose next. Remember, full on the knees or you can elevate your hands as well. Hands outside the shoulders. Shoulders protracted and packed into your armpits. And then drive your elbow back and get your arm as close to the body as you can, bringing your shoulder blade as close to the spine as possible. Thighs tight, glutes tight. Finish it strong. Very good. Jackknife crossover. 
feet outside the hips, arms outside the shoulders. Let's go. Again, can't touch the toe, hand to the side of the knee, even to your hip. This is fine too. If you've got tight hamstrings, for instance, or tight spine, see the muscles in your back as well, you can only go there, fine. Just don't throw yourself up, basically. See, I'm still not going 90, I can go that way. Whatever is most comfortable to you. Okay, body weight 10, two next. Okay, notice my, always thinking about from the ground up. Always thinking from the ground up. Feet, thighs, glutes, brace. Again, if you can't tense your abdominal muscles doing this, left to right, why load it? Just a little bit of food for thought. Very, very good. Prisoner lunge or squat jump, um, lunge jumps, split jumps. Notice I'm landing tight. I'm not this, right? Keep nice and tight, keep that hip opened up. And I want those elbows back. Focus on working the back of the shoulders and upper back in this movement. Very good. Alternating bridge next. Okay, leg out. Now try and keep that hip up as you change your leg. Remember, only goes fast as you can coordinate that exercise for. Very good. Plank up next. Okay, let's go. Always get stable first. Create tension, then go. Focus on interchanging the arms. Get the brain and body working together, even when it's tired. Very good. Set number four of seven. Coming up. Star jumps. Option one. Option, well that should be option one. Option two. Option three. I can get my legs out further. I think I'm cheating there. Very good, Renegade Row next. quiet just now. I think you've got it. Very good. Jack now crossover. Again, focus on the quality of the movement. I cannot stress that enough. 
And also I'm keeping that egg distance between the collarbone and the chin. I'm not driving with my head. I'm bringing my rib cage to meet the hip. Or the opposite shoulder to meet the hip. My apologies. Okay. Body weight 10 2. You know what to do. You want to try and increase your range of motion, you can. And I mean, going left to right, but don't sacrifice your tension at your abdominals while you're trying to increase your T spine mobility. Very good, okay. Press on split jump next or lunge. Again, if you find it hard to stabilize lunging, please do not jump. Hope the GP's gym crew are killing this workout. Keep going. Quite enjoying these tonight, actually. Woo! Single leg hip bridge next. Let's go. Chin tucked, rib cage down. Extend those hips. Squeeze the glute in the back of the thigh. Think about when you come up, not just here, here too. Outer portion of the hips. Don't forget about those inner thighs at the top as well. Basically I'm kind of sandwiching my thigh together. Plank ups next. So my elbows are landing, should be just under the shoulders. Woo. Okay, round number five, star jumps. These are killing it, come on. Let's go. Option one, option two, option three. Could add an option four, maybe two fruity for these. You could only land once. <laughs> Renegade Rose. This microphone's got a mind of its own today. Oh, my apologies, Renegade Rose. Nice length in the spine. Big squeeze through the back at the top. Jackknife crossover next. Up we come. Ok, 
Okay, body weight 10 2. Remember, notice I'm slowing down each set. Definitely yeah, fine. But I'll focus on the quality of my movement because I'm still moving. So, lock it in. Press and lunge, split jumps. Let's go. So after this workout tonight, I want to see after photos up on your feeds, up on your Insta stories. Let's show people what we can offer them during this time. <laughs> Alternating bridge next. Try and focus on your breath during your 10 seconds. You probably get about two breaths in. Oops. Leg out. Drop down. Stand up. Change. I'm trying my best to keep my thighs in line here. I'm not way up here. You can go here. Again, personal preference. Plank ups next. And then we're on round number six. Quality of the movement. When the hands come up and push them together, you want to feel tension through the hands, inside the arms, up around the shoulders and chest. Very good. Round number six of seven coming up. Now you know the options. I'll trust you pick the right one. Do you want to find a landing position that you can the weight through the midfoot. So if you maybe here, you might find the heels come off. Maybe two here, you might round forward. Just a little bit of food for thought. Renegade roll. Very good. Jackknife crossover. Great, my eyes are sweating. Squeeze, squeeze, reach, lengthen out those hamstrings or those posterior chain muscles. That's the muscles of your back end. Body weight, 10 to next. Just 
just notice I'm changing positions there. You can do both. Ideally, if you're just starting out, you want to start with minimum movement, left to right, and then start to build it up while being able to maintain this. Okay? Right, prisoner split jumps next. Or lunges. When I'm landing, glutes, yeah. Yep. Tension on the thighs and bum the whole time. Again, if you find it too hard with the personally I I would prefer you having the hands up, hands here at the sides of the head and then just focusing on lunges. Okay? Because again I want this to be also we did the renegade rows, I think more mid, back, back the shoulders, upper back. So what I was doing next, on eating hamstring. Oh, hip bridges. I'll need to add time on for that one. See how I timed it. Plank ups next. There you go. And then we got one more round. If you need to drop to the knees any time, do so. Take a short rest. Then go back up to your plank and make sure the plank you're in a good position for it. Don't sack, don't sit here with your form all off. Take a breather and go again. You know, green grain, a very, very efficient movement pattern. You don't want to be green in a faulty movement pattern. Holy moly. Let's go. Last round. Come on, you can do this. Keep moving. Like the gym depends on it. Renegade row. Same thing if you need to drop to the floor. Drop the knees to the floor, fine. Don't lose your form. Jack knife crossover next. Let's go. Again, if you can't reach the toes, even when you're getting tired, say the knee or the hip. Come on, you've got it, you've got it, come on. Keep going. Body weight. Notice the push up I'm doing every time there. Body beat 10 2. Let's go. If you want to see me to the side, if I'm not like this. I'm not like this. Somewhere in between. Okay. Prisoner. Split jumps next.
two more exercises to go. Alternating bridge and plank up. Right, plank up to finish. Get out 100%. Nearly done. Woo! Definitely give yourself a round of applause for that one. <laughs> well done everyone. That was the Super 7 tonight on GP's On Demand virtual workouts. Hope you loved that tonight. I certainly did. Really enjoyed that actually. That's probably my favorite out of all of our workouts. So, if you'd like to know anything more about our classes, what we offer is a gym. We don't have long to go, remember. We're already mid-June, phase two, phase three coming soon. So, that is very, very close. So stay tuned to see what's happening at GPs. Take care, everyone. Good night, and have a lovely, tremendous weekend.